Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode we talk about how scientists reveal why Venus is leaking water into space. Today, Venus is as hot as your pizza oven, even hotter than Mercury, which is the closest to the Sun. But still, it's called Earth's twin because of several reasons. The planet lies in the so-called Goldilocks zone of the Sun, a narrow virtual ring where planets can hold water in a liquid state. Billions of years ago, Venus used to have as much water as Earth, an extremely crucial element for life to evolve. However, so far, scientists could not fully understand what led to the escape of this water to the solar system and how the planet transformed into a desert-like surface. But now, they may have solved this puzzle. We're trying to figure out what little changes occurred on each planet to drive them into these vastly different states, said Aaron Kangi, co-team leader and a scientist with the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics, LASP. Let's know how Venus lose its water. Due to its proximity to the sun, the sunlight is believed to have broken up water in its atmosphere into hydrogen and oxygen. The greater concentration of hydrogen in the atmosphere rapidly heated the planet, due to which the hydrogen escaped in a flow out to space. That's how this hydrodynamic escape stripped Venus of its water. But not all water was lost in this process. It's like dumping out a water bottle, there will still be a few drops left at the bottom. Let's hear why Venus is still losing water. Venus still holds some water and the water is still leaking into the space. Scientists blame a process called HCO dissociative recombination, DR, for this phenomenon. As per this theory, when gaseous HCO plus reacts with the electrons, a neutral carbon monoxide molecule, CO, and a hydrogen atom, H, are formed. This process energizes the hydrogen atom, which can then exceed the planet's escape velocity and escape to space. The DR process is likely to have taken place throughout the history of the planet, which explains why Venus is still losing water. Practice makes a person almost perfect, science confirms. We have all grown up with this notion injected into our heads and hearts that practice makes a person perfect. While achieving perfection may be left to the likes of Christopher Nolan and their filmography, science has come up with an explanation to describe how practice improves our skills. Not just that, but repetitive practice also leads to profound changes in the brain's memory pathways. According to a new study led by UCLA Health, published in the journal Nature and co-led by Rockefeller University, a person's performance becomes more accurate and automatic following repetitive practice. The research sought to unravel how the brain's ability to retain and process information, known as working memory, improves through training. Let's know what was the outcome of the study. The study found that once someone was repeatedly practicing the task, the memory patterns began to solidify or crystallize, according to the corresponding author and UCLA health neurologist Dr. Payman Galshani. If one imagines that each neuron in the brain is sounding a different note, the melody that the brain is generating when it is doing the task was changing from day to day, but the task, Galshani said in a statement. These changes give insights into why performance becomes more precise and automatic following repetitive practice. This insight not only advances our understanding of learning and memory but also has implications for addressing memory-related disorders, Galshani said. The work was performed by Dr. Arash Belafard, project scientist at UCLA in close collaboration with Dr. Ali Pasha Vaziri's group at Rockefeller University. That's all for this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Also, share your opinion about this episode in the comment box and subscribe us for more.